Thank you. Well, concerns about the highly contagious Delta variant of coronavirus have brought about an uptick in the sale of masks and also an urgent push to get vaccinated. The president spoke Thursday about the importance of taking this step to end the pandemic. America is divided between the majority of eligible people who are vaccinated and those who are not. A pandemic of the unvaccinated. Well, joining us right now with more on that, Seminole County Emergency Medicine Specialist, Dr. Todd Husty. Good to see you, sir. How are you? Uh, I'm glad to be back, although obviously not under these circumstances. This is pretty bad. No, it is, and it's so unfortunate. And we were talking earlier about it's sort of almost hard to comprehend, right? You have almost half the population that is now vaccinated, yet we're seeing some of the worst numbers uh, hospitalized than we've ever seen. What is going on? Well, I mean, if, if you really look at it, Advent Health says that they have a thousand patients. Well, if four out of 10 people have not been vaccinated, four out of 10 adults have not been vaccinated in Seminole County alone, what is that? That's 100,000 people, that's 80,000 people that are not vaccinated that, that could get this virus. That's a lot of people. And when you bring in Orange County and all the other counties, that's a lot of people that could get this virus and are getting it. And so what we're seeing, Doc, do you think is just the fact that this particular Delta variant is is so transmissible? And I guess a lot of people are comparing it to what we saw happening in India. But then if we look at what happened in Great Britain, those numbers are finally starting to come down there. Right. So, you know, I was um, odd when the head of the CDC said I've never I mean, she's been in virology for for 20 years and she said I've never seen a respiratory virus so transmissible. That's that's kind of scary because this thing, the Delta variant with that big viral load, all that extra virus, thousand times more virus up your nose and in your respiratory system that you're spreading to other people. Then getting getting the infection is all about getting a dose of it. Well, there's so much dose coming at you. It's almost hard not to get the infection if you're not vaccinated. Let's talk boosters, Doc, because that's something that uh, could potentially be coming. What are your thoughts on potentially getting that third shot? Would it be the same doses that you're looking at right now, or would they have to create or make a third dose? Well, it, it, a couple questions there. One is, what's my thought on boosters? Absolutely. I mean, the, the vaccine manufacturers have been saying from the beginning that they felt like this vaccine was not going to last a lifetime, definitely, and definitely not a year, and that we would need a booster. So you look at the flu vaccine, last six to 10 months of immunity, and then we, we start over again. Um, and actually, but we start over again with some of the same material that we had in the first place. So what are we going to need a brand new? booster with brand new stuff in it well i it, i read a, a quote uh, this morning that said we're just a couple mutations away from having a vaccine resistant virus and so it depends on whether we can get herd immunity before the a mutation basically becomes vaccine resistant that's the that's the that's the the race right now that's why i mean i know that a lot of people are resistant to vaccine for all kinds of reasons. But if you think about it, we're giving this thing a chance to get into people and then to ultimately mutate. And we're just a couple of mutations away from having to start all over again. That's not a good thought. No, it's not. And, and Doc, I don't want to end on a sour note because uh, I'm being told we got to wrap. <laughs> but is there any optimism out there? Or are you hearing from anybody who's like, OK, I see a little bit of light at the end of the tunnel? You know, if we get vaccinated and we wear masks and social distance while we're having the surge, I mean, we could start nipping this thing two, three weeks. You could see it starting to come down. I mean, that's the optimism. There is a light at the end of the tunnel that doesn't have to be a freight train. All right. Always a pleasure to talk to you. Dr. Todd Husty with Seminole County. Thank you, my friend. Good to see you. Thank you, Amy.